Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today oh, I'm so excited. We have a gigantic, a huge Shop Missé haul. If you've never heard of Shop Missé, Shop Missé is a website that sells basically all of their makeup, the majority of their makeup for a dollar or a dollar and change. They carry a bunch of affordable brands, but they also have a huge like house line of makeup, skin care. They're actually moving into skincare and hair care and everything, and that's called the, um, it's not called, it's called the AOA Studio line. Some of my all time holy grails are from Shop Missé, and I haven't placed an order in a bit, and to be honest, I went a little bananas this time, and by a little, maybe like a lot. And I really wanted to, after a long, like hard, like you, one of those work days where you're just like bleh, and you just wanna get a nice glass of wine and unwind, I wanna unwind with you guys and unbox all of my new goodies. The original point of this haul, what I really wanted to do was take $100 and spend it on Shop Miss A because everything's a dollar, everything's so affordable that you can get a huge haul of like awesome things for less than $30, which is what I've always done. But I've never really gone in and done like a, like a $100 haul. I tried to do that today. I actually, even after getting like everything that I wanted, I did not hit $100. <laughs> Which just goes to show you everything is so affordable. And there are there were a few things that were sold out that I kind of want to keep my eyes on, but it wasn't really makeup. It was more like some of the hair care things, like cute headbands and stuff were sold out, but they should come back in stock hopefully sometime soon. But I couldn't hit $100. Like I wanted to hit 100 and be like, what can you get for 100? This is really more like, what can you get for 80? <laughs> which isn't quite as catchy, you know? That big box had two of these big guys in it. And I really like the way that they package everything. They have this big bubble wrap and then everything inside of it is also wrapped individually. Um, so they do everything they can to make sure it doesn't break. I've only had one thing. I placed orders with Shop Mise since 2018. I've only had one thing break on me and it was a highlighter and they immediately like replaced it. So they're really good about customer service too. For full disclosure, I do have an affiliate link with Shop Miss A. If you click that link and make any purchases, I will make a percentage commission. It is a single digit commission on any sales to the site. Um, and I only have that, it's my only affiliate link because I love Shop Miss A's products and I really believe in their mission of just like amazing affordable makeup. So if you're interested in anything that I'm purchasing here, I would suggest you try that uh, affiliate link so I get a little bit of kickback here to support the channel, but please don't feel pressured to do so. That is completely optional. Um, just go to the Shop Mise website and type in, I'll have every single product that I ordered. I'm literally gonna copy and paste it from my order confirmation. I'll have everything listed below. You can go straight to the website and type in or copy and paste the product name and you'll be able to find it. Let's, let's, I can't wait to get started. Let's go, let's go, all of this stuff. So I did a huge combination makeup. I think I did a couple of skincare things in here, a lot of hair care um, and like hair, uh, like accessories and cute things. So I cannot wait, I cannot wait to go. All right, so let's start with, I've got something coming up right here. Um, I did get quite a few of these. So we're gonna see quite a few of them. These are the Wonder Blenders. I got mostly the black ones, the black teardrop sponges, but I also liked these nude ones. So I got a couple of the nude sponges as well. Also, fair warning, as much as I would like this to be in a nice and neat order, I'm taking it out of the box and doing it as I find them. So they're not gonna be 100% like in the order of which, like, you know, type of products they are. How cute are these? So the first few things, I've got some hair care products. I got these avocado hair pins. Are they not the cutest thing? Like there's some, bur the barrettes, berets. Are they berets? Are they barrettes? And hair clips. Like how cute is like this green clip? And then we've got like a little avocado that is so stinking cute. Oh. I love that. And then there's like some um, regular hair ties with avocados on them. I, I'm a millennial. I like my avocados. These are cute as hell. I got another Wonder Blender. Oh, this is really cute. This is another like hair pin. It's a clip. Let me see, how does it open up? Does it click? Oh, it's one of the ones. Oh, it's like that. Okay, so it springs open. But this one, it's like a black and white gingham, which I love. I love that style. If I can take it out of the packaging, geez, okay. And then like this would go here and clip. Oh, that is so cute. I think I'm gonna leave it in there. I like it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I picked up some socks. I'm surprised that they actually had what looked like cute socks. And these look 
nice and basic, um, but again, a dollar. I do like some good affordable products and I've never tried any of their like clothing before. So I really want to try these. So I got two pairs of these striped socks. I did pick up, or I think we're gonna see a few of them of their face masks. So they do have their own, um, I don't know if Oki, yeah. So uh, Oki is their, I think like lifestyle brand and this is part of their charity product. So $1.55, so you pay more than the dollar, um, but then that extra does go to um, charities. And I'm really excited to like try the texture because of course we are now in a post COVID world. I hope everyone's still wearing their masks. Um, what just happened with Texas is kind of bananas. Ooh, this feels so nice and soft. And again, this this is the type of mask you would double mask with. Perfect size. Okay, nice. Okay, this feels nice and soft. I do like this. I did pick up a couple of these because um, I just need to replace some of my like everyday kind of masks, you know? So $1.55, you really can't beat it. I got a cute paisley bandana. Some of my really cute bandanas, like the ones with the skulls on them, I got from Shop Miss A. So I picked up a couple of um, bandanas. It's good quality fabric though I think it is screen printed um so the print might not be as nice but the fabric feels and I'm normally going to use these just for um like cute hairstyles so to me it doesn't really matter if the print isn't like perfect okay so I picked up some wipes I got some makeup removing wipes I've been using these mainly like to clean and then to do some cleanup like on my outer v just wiping that up there so I picked up a couple of those for a dollar and then I saw that they actually have a whole line now of like sanitizing things and it's actually been still pretty difficult to find some little Clorox wipes where we are so I did pick up two of their pure sanitizing wipes and I think these are the lemon scent yeah they're both lemon scent so can't wait to try those out Okay, and we found another Wonder Blender, of course. I think we're gonna have like 10 of those probably in this haul. These I'm really excited to try out. I believe I got a couple of them. These are bamboo reusable cotton pads. So I do have um, reusable cotton rounds that I use to take off my eye makeup, but I've been using makeup erasers to do the rest of my face. And I really wanted to try these. These are kind of new um, to their site and it comes in a pack of two for $1.55 and they're reusable cotton rounds. So you can hopefully use those to take off eye makeup. So I cannot wait to try these out. All right, let's see. Next, I picked up a liner because I never tried the AOA Studio liner before. This is just the waterproof felt tip liner in black. Next, since I've actually been wearing lashes recently, both magnetic and not magnetic, I really wanted to try their lash glue. So this is the AOA Studio A Plus Super Strip Lash Adhesive. Rude. So this is the AOA Studio A Plus Super Strip Lash Adhesive. I had a timer on my phone so I would marinate the chicken for tomorrow. I'll just because I am so bad at remembering to like marinate things the night before. I'm just, it's just not me. Um, next, I think I've tried one mascara from Shop Miss A, but I was surprised when I saw colored mascaras. So this is a dark green mascara from their AOA Studio line and I cannot wait to try this out. I believe this is a primer or a moisturizer. So this is the AOA Studio uh, Balm Skin Rescue in Mint. So I'm pretty sure this is part of their skincare line. It says dab a small amount of balm directly to dry lips, elbows, knees, or cuticles. Oh, okay, so this is kind of part of their skincare. So it's really supposed to be more of like a lotion or like an intense like aquaphor kind of dupe. So I'm excited about that. I'm a little on the fence about the scent though. I don't know how strong it's gonna be. We'll have to see. Okay, so I got another of the same mascara from the dark from before of the dark cream, but I got it in black. So I also just wanted to try out their typical black mascara. Um, here are some more of the makeup removing wipes. I kind of got one of each kind just to try them out. This is the unscented from the AOA Studio line. This is the rose water. And then this is the green tea kind. Uh, another Wonder Blender. If you're doing a drinking game, maybe take a shot every time I say Wonder Blender. Oh. No, because you might get alcohol poisoning. Don't do that. Oh, I'm so excited about this. If you couldn't tell, I love avocado. I got an eye mask with an avocado on it. How cute is he? Oh my God, I love him. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I just, I love my little avocado buddies. They're adorable. So it's nice and big. I like the size. Cause I don't know if this is TMI, but I sleep with a, um, a hair bonnet on. And then I have sleep phones cause I love ASMR. So sleep phones are like headband. It's basically a headband with headphones in it. So you can sleep on top of them and it won't hurt your ears. And I want to put this on. So I'm in my own little world when I sleep. I can, ow, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, here is another face mask that I found. Again, this is for double masking. And this is not from the AOA Studio line. I think this is just a like standard um, face mask 
brand you'd probably find, I think, overseas. Um, but it is it does look like an N95. I it's probably not an N95. But um, I'm excited to also have some backups of my everyday masks. Oops, speaking of, another of the AOA Studio face mask, and then another of the, ooh, and I dropped it. But one more of the classic, this kind of face mask can't have enough face masks. And then I actually didn't get just one avocado sleep mask, I got two. <laughs> it's adorable. I think I like the little avocado buddy better because he's just so stinking cute, but this is also adorable, I like it. I got this big pack of um, tiny black hair elastics because these work really well if you have like thin hair or you're trying to do like some intricate braids and you don't want like a bright hair tie to show up. So I'm I just got a huge pack of those. I got a cute looking hair clip. As you can see, once I move this out of the way, but I do like just regular hair clips for quick styling in the morning. And I wanted to get one that was just a little bit more stylized. So this one's very cute. Uh, next, I have two headbands or head wraps, and then they're, they're black and white in the gingham that I adore. They've got like a wire, a thin wire in them. So they're like bendy. Oh, I love these. I'm probably gonna get so much use out of these two. And then I got a big pack. It was, I believe this came in a bundle. It was a bunch of their face masks from their new skincare line. So we got, so we got two of the hyaluronic acid and Tamanu oil jelly sheet masks. We got two of the holy green water and ceramide sheet masks. We got four, nope, two of the salicylic acid and tea tree face masks, and then two of the niacinamide 2% plus Sika 7 calming complex sheet masks. I just love sheet masks, so I'm excited to try these out and see how I like them, because again, they're all a dollar. I got this in a, a nice pack with a cute little bag, so it was a little bit cheaper, I believe, in the bundle, but um, I'm excited to see Shop Miss A start branching out into more, like, what I'm trying to say, like, skincare, and then also, like, home care because you know, a couple of things come out like that like along the lines of the mask and stuff okay so that was everything in the first bubble wrapper now we've got the second one and i think most of the makeup that i got is in here okay so let's start with the lash curler i really desperately needed a new lash curler so i picked this one up it can't beat a dollar Next, speaking of lashes, let's go through all the lashes that I picked up. So Shop Missy has like two lines of lashes. They have these basic AOA Studio ones, and then they have like the fancy 3D faux mink ones for $1.55 as opposed to a dollar. So in the 3D faux mink, I picked up the Jessica's, which look very rounded and big. Excited for those. And then the jeans. They look very, very cute. And then a bunch of the regular ones. So let's see, I got the Chloe's, which is a more dramatic kind of spread out lash. Cause I'm trying to do more, not edit, like basically editorial kind of looks. And I think that kind of lash would look nice. I also picked up some nice wispies. These are the roses, which I think look a little bit more natural and pretty. These are the Aria's, cute. How many more did I pick up? Just about a lot of them. These are some nice cat eyes. These are the Rita's. I'm really excited for that one. These are the Madeline's and these are a little gigantic. So I really, I don't know how those are gonna fit in my eyes, but I will definitely try them out. And then these are the Elizabeth's, which I, I love how short, let me zoom in on these specifically. I love how short and wispy they are. I think those are gonna look very, very pretty. All right, next, I saw that they had basically these little dupes for the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers, which I love. Um, and these are a dollar, which makes them like a dollar 50 cents ish cheaper than the Bath and Body Works ones. So I really wanted to try them out. So I got one in lavender and one in rose water. So can't wait to try sanitizer out. <laughs> uh, next, I had to do a good restock on my favorite brush and sponge cleaning soaps. I got one of the Argan Oil sponge soap in the shade Rose. And oh, I got these are the both sponge soaps. I think I still have brush soaps, but these are my best like favorite ways to clean brushes and sponges. It's so quick, it's so affordable. It's, I love these. I could do a whole video. It's probably really boring, but I could do a whole video about how much I love cleaning my brushes and sponges with this. All right, let's move on to some lip products. So that's what I'm seeing next in this pile. I picked up a couple of their lip glosses. Um, I know they came out with some new lip glosses recently, but a lot of them are sold out and I kind of really just wanted like the clear ones. So this is the glazed high shine lip gloss. And then this is the 
glazed high shine lip gloss. This one actually has glitter in it. It looks really pretty. So I can't wait. This one doesn't have glitter. This one does have glitter. So I can't wait to try those out. I think it would look really pretty for filming. Next, I picked up two of these Jelly Jam Moisture Risk, Risk, <laughs> Moisture Rich masks. They're basically, they're supposed to look like dupes for the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which <laughs> Yes, so I cannot wait to try this out and see if it works just as well as that lip sipping mask. Next, I picked this up because this is a product that I actually bought a while ago and originally loved, but they changed the packaging completely. This is the Honey, Oh Honey Lip Oil. You remember it used to come in like this square kind of packaging with a doe foot. Now, I actually want to open this one and see what it looks like. My God, don't you hate it when you rip off cardboard packaging and it looks like this? It's like, why? Why did you even do that? Okay, so this is the new packaging. It's bigger. I think it has a little bit more product. Oh, and it screws. And then, okay, so it's got a roller ball, which is interesting. So it's different. Da, 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 da. Mm, it smells really good. It feels, it, it feels a little bit different than I think I remember the old formula being. But it looks really cute and it feels really nice, so... I do have to say, I think I like this packaging better than the old one because that doe foot was kind of a pain, but I love the lip oil enough to like keep using it. This is so cute. All right, let's move on to primers. So I picked up two primers that I saw that I've never tried before from the AOA Studio line. The first is the Clean Slate Primer, which is this one right here. I don't know if this is supposed to be a blurring or a smoothing one. Clean Slate is a lightweight is lightweight and melts onto your skin, leaving it silky smooth. So I think this is supposed to be a blurring one. Um, and this is also a blurring one. This is specifically a pore minimizer primer. So this is the AOA Studio Minimizes Pores Smooth Velvety Finish. So I don't know if this is supposed to be a like putty primer, which is kind of what I thought it was going to be. It is just, they just call it a blur fection primer. So cannot wait to try it out. Because if you know me, you know I have a thing for putty primers. I just, I really like them. What is it? Putty primers and green eyeshadow. Sign me up. <laughs> Okay, moving into foundations and BB cream. So two products that I've already picked up that I'm, these are repurchases for me, are these two. First, I have the AOA Studio Perfect Skin Perfecting BB Cream. I tried this a while ago and I wasn't a huge fan. And to be honest, I wanted to pick it up again and try it again to see if anything changed or if I happen to like it more or less, just so that's a new one for me. And then this is an old one that I love. I love this foundation. My only complaint is that it's really small. It's only 0.6 ounces when typically for foundation you would get at least a fluid ounce. So I kind of wish they could, they buy this or sell it in bulk. Like I would buy this in bulk. I love this foundation so much. <laughs> this is the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. I got the lightest shade, which is the 01 Porcelain, but I don't know if I did a full video on this, but I, I've used this for like a while and I love this foundation. So I had to pick up another one. Now to a new one that I've never tried because it came out a while ago and then was sold out for the longest time and I finally got my hands on it. This is the Pro Wear Foundation. So this is supposed to be, I believe, a dupe for like the MAC Long Wear, though just because of the packaging and the name, but I cannot wait to try this foundation out. It looks so cute and I've heard nothing but good things, so I cannot wait to test it out. I will be doing a full haul follow-up video in a few months, like once I have time to test all of these. But let me know if you guys want to see specific videos on any like group of products or any products in particular. Like if you want to see me do all the foundations in one video, let me know. So I might have gone a little ham on the setting powder. But yeah. So I picked up a few shades because I've only ever tried their the matte white one. And I do love the matte white one. Again, my only complaint was the size. I wish I could buy it in bulk. Um, so I picked up two of the matte white one that I know I loved and I definitely wanted to use again. So I got those. Now for the rest of these, I basically just picked up um, a couple of different shades because I really wanted to try like their actual tinted powder. So let me see what shades I picked up. First, I picked up Soft Light, which I believe is their lightest tinted shade. So I got two of those because if out of any of the tinted shades, I think this one being the lightest would probably work the best for me. And then next, I picked up two of the brightening shades. So it's called brightening. Technically, I don't think it's one of the tinted ones, but it's like a soft, like light pink or peach. So it's supposed to work like on your under eyes to brighten. So I kind of want to test that out specifically like with color correctors and stuff. Um, so I also got those. Speaking of powder, I picked up backups of my favorite pressed powders from them, and I've panned multiples of these. I love them. They're some of my favorite affordable face powders ever. I got two tinted ones. These are in the shade Porcelain 152. I got two of these. I adore them to death. 
And then I got two of the translucent. So these are just like matte white ones, flat white. Um, and they just work really well. Again, love them. Um, my only complaint is that I can go through the product kind of quickly, which is why I picked up two of each. And it really isn't much when you're paying a dollar for, for both of them. Like even if I buy two full size ones for $2, it's probably cheaper than like the Rimmel, the Maybelline, any other powder you can find at the drugstore. That's cheaper. All right, next I picked up a kit. So this came as a set of these two brushes. I really picked this up because I wanted to test this out as a dupe for my favorite Kabuki brush, which is the F80 from Sigma. Now, like the packaging and everything, it looks just like it. This is definitely a lot lighter than the Sigma, but it feels very dense and it feels very soft. So, ooh, I cannot wait to try that out. And then I bought the set just because I wanted to try out one of their smaller brushes. So this is called a high def brush. I really don't know if I should use this for like concealer or something, but I'll figure out a way to use it. <laughs> Next, I picked up a liquid liner. And this is the AOA Studio Artista, I believe it's called, but it's so packaged up, I can't really read it, but it's just a black felt tip liner. All right, next we have a bunch of blushes because I saw their blushes. They had baked blushes and cream blushes that I really wanted to try out. So let's start with the cream. I picked up two cream blushes and this is the AOA Studio line. Um, I got the shades Passion and Cozy, which, oh, those are so cute names, but I really wanted to get like some bright shades, like spring, pretend that it's spring already when it's clearly not. But let's open just one to take a quick look at it. So I've never tried any of their cream products at all. So I cannot wait to test both of these cream blushes out. Next, I mentioned they had baked blushes. I've also never tried any of their baked blushes. So I picked up two of them. I have the shades Rose Dawn and Delicate Pink. How cute. So this is Delicate Pink. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, this looks so pretty. And this is Rose Dawn. Oh, I'm excited. All right, and our last section or group of products are highlighters. I do love this uh, formula, so the pressed highlighter, the AOE Studio Perfect one. I picked up, I believe this is a backup. I'm pretty sure I already have one of these. This is in the shade Empress, or do I have Eris? I have one of these and I love it. It's so much product for a dollar and the formula is fantastic. So I'm pretty sure I picked up a different shade, but to be honest, I kind of forgot. So um, I love this formula though. I really do like this. And I think this is probably the best bang for your buck if you're looking for a good long lasting highlighter. So the rest of these are new to me. So I haven't bought any of these before. The first is their Velour highlighter, which I was so excited to try out. So this is the Velour highlighter in the shade Crazy. So I believe this is like a duochrome kind of highlighter. It's like a light purpley pink shade and mm. I might have gotten this to match my pan that palette. Don't tell anybody, <laughs> but excited to try that out. And last, but certainly not least, I bought two of their baked highlighters. I've never tried their baked highlighters before either. I got the shades Cloud and Bonbon. So let's see, I'm pretty sure these are probably just the lightest shades that they have for these products. So this is Cloud. Kind of want to swatch it. It's a little chalky. Oh, but it blends out nicely. Oh, okay, interesting. And then this is the shade Bon Bon. Let me give that a quick swatch. I didn't swatch everything else because otherwise we would have been here like all day. Okay, and then this one's like a light gold yellow kind of shade. Ooh, it's subtle. I don't even think you can really see it. They're very subtle, but they look really cute. So I cannot wait to test those on my actual face. So we finally did it. We went through everything. That is my biggest Shop Miss A haul to date. Cheers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below, other than like a haul follow-up video, which I already have planned for a few months from now, what other videos would you like to see, if any, with these products? Remember, if you want to buy anything from Shop Miss A and you don't mind, I do have an affiliate link in the description box of all of my videos that is free and open for you to use. It does give me a percentage kickback of the total of whatever you do order from Shop Miss A, but don't feel pressured to use it, but it is in the description box of all my videos if you feel so inclined. And this is, I, I want to reiterate, I only have one affiliate link and this is the only one at Shop Masai. Thank you guys for watching this, I'm sure, very long video and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.